After its delay from last December to this March, Shredders has finally landed on Game Pass. So let's go ahead and take a look at the game's performance on the PC app for xCloud. What's up Cloud Gamers, welcome back to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming, and you'll see I'm on the newly designed PC app here for Xbox with your tabs over on the left hand side. So we're going to go ahead and get into Shredders and check out the performance here on the PC app, and this is a next gen only title, so it is running on the custom Series X Blades in the data center, and the game does appear to target 60 FPS. We'll take a look at all the options really quickly. So once you get booted into the game here, this is what you'll be presented with, and there's a ton of areas in here that you can unlock on this mountain, which was pretty impressive um, that the game is pretty good size. And as far as type, this is your all, your spawns, or your missions. And then once you select those, you come down here and select where you want to spawn, either on a mission or just at a park or a spawn point. And there's a lot of open world aspects. Here you've got character gear and stats. You've got things that you can equip and unlock as you play here. We've got the replay section. Basically, when you're playing, it'll capture a replay for you. You could go in, you could edit it, you could save it, um, load up and uh, take a look. You can do whatever you want with that replay, which is pretty cool. You've got a multiplayer section in here, so you could have that on or off. You can see other players. You can play in multiplayer events, and there's a ton to unlock. You've got your control scheme, which you'll want to get familiar with, as this game's not super arcadey or like uh, some of the other snowboard games. We'll talk more about that. Uh, music is off, just in case there was any copyright stuff. And again, there's no graphic settings here. The game's just targeting one uh, FPS, which should be 60 FPS on Series X and on the stream. So I've loaded up here just into a open world park really quickly to get started. And like I said, this is not really arcadey. I don't want to say this is like a sim or realistic, but the controls and the tricks and everything that you can do, you're not an SSX tricky kind of thing here or Riders Republic. This is a little bit more down to earth gameplay. And a little bit more chill and relaxing. And if you have the music on, actually, a lot of the music is kind of that way as well. And I'm actually really enjoying my time with it so far. I've put about oh, an hour and a half, maybe two hours into the game and really enjoying it. And it's looking great here on xCloud. Definitely here on the PC app, 1080p 60, even locally on my 1440p monitor, it looks really clean. And the latency is really on point. The controls are tight. I'm not having any problems being able to steer, jump, do what I need to with tricks. The game has a few little buggy things here and there sometimes with the spinning and whatnot but uh, that's not xcloud and uh, it's working really well so picture quality stayed excellent even here in this match where you've got two minutes to go as fast as you can down uh, the mountain i want to see how latency felt how picture quality was did we pixelate um, no problems guys i played about two hours like i said on here no disconnects really clean image great on the latency and um, i don't know if it's just the new pc app as well or what but things just keep improving for me when it comes to xcloud and i've really been looking forward to playing shredders on there so for me this game is a go uh, if you like snowboarding games i think uh it could be something that you like to get into again like i said don't get into this thinking you're playing something like an ssx tricky because you're not um but it seems to be a pretty decent snowboarding game so far and running great on xcloud all right guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always we really appreciate it and check out the last little bit of this run here and we'll catch you in the next one